question 7a copy and complete the table of values for the relation y equal to 3x squared minus 5s minus 7 you have the table of values with some missing y values and you are expected to get them b using scales of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the y axis draw the graph of y equal to 3x squared minus 5s minus 7 over the range of values of s see part of the question from the graph remember figure 1 find the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 5s minus 7 equal to 0 Roman figure 2, estimate the minimum value of y. Roman figure 3, you are asked to calculate the gradient of the curve at the point s equal to 2. Solution. A part is to copy the table and complete it. This is the given relation. In the table, the values of s are already known. They are always given to you in the question. Next thing is to get y values. And to do that, you need to get 3x squared, get minus 5. Minus 7 is a constant. So you start with 3x squared. You need to get s squared first, multiply it by 3. When s is equal to minus 3, minus 3 squared means minus 3 times minus 3, and that is 9. 9 times this 3 here, you have 27. For minus 2, if you square minus 2, you have 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So let's jump to 4. When s is 4, 4 squared is 16 16 times 3 you have 48 to get minus 5s you use minus 5 to multiply each value of s minus 5 times minus 3 you have 15 minus 5 times 2 you have 10 and so on minus 7 is a constant and as such you write it under each value of s. To get y, you simply add 27 plus 15 is 42. Minus 7, you have 35. If you add this, you get this result. If you add this, you get this result. And so on. Next part, part B, is to plot the graph. Let us start by restating the given scale 2cm to 1 unit on S axis, 2cm to 5 units on Y axis. This graph I'm using, each boss is 5 lines. So by default, that 5 lines means 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter. Now, this scale simply means if you combine two buses on the S as you give it one, that is two CM to one unit. So this is the end of the first bus. The end of the second bus, you give it one. Next one is two, three, and so on. If you move to the left, you have minus one, minus two, and so on. On the y axis, if you combine two buses, you give it 5 units. The next one is 10, 15, 20, and so on. If you move down from the origin, you have minus 5, minus 10, minus 15. This scale implies that one line is equal to 0 0.1 units on s axis and 0 0.5 units on y as is 
To get one line, you simply divide the number of units by number of lines. Now, from this point to this point here, you have 10 lines. The 10 lines combined is 5 units. To get one line, you divide 5 by 10 and you have 0 0.5. In other words, on the y axis, two lines combined is one unit. Next thing is to plot the point. When s is minus 3, y is 35. So this is minus 3, this is 35. So you trace the point of intersection and you mark that point. The next point, minus 2 for S, 15 for Y. This is minus 2, this is 15. This is the point of intersection. The next point, minus 1 for S, then 1 for Y. I just explained that on the Y axis, one line is 0 0.5 and two lines is one so from the point zero here the origin you count two lines up that is one against minus one for s when s is zero y is minus seven that is what you have here if you count four lines from minus five you have minus seven minus seven when s is 1, y is minus 9. Somewhere here, when s is 2, y is minus 5. When s is 3, y is 5. When s is 4, y is 21. After 20, the next two lines give 21. Next thing is to join the point together. Don't forget the title of the graph. It is simply the relation or the equation you are plotting. All the points have been joined together. We move to C part of the question. C, graphical one, you are asked to find the roots of the equation. This is what you have plotted. So, the roots are the point of intersection of the curve with the S axis. One point is here. Another point is here. Remember, on the S axis, one line is 0 0.1. If you count from 0 to this point here, you have 9 lines and that is minus 0 0.9 now if you look at the second point here is 2.5 and the curve is in between 2.5 and 2.6 for that reason we take 2.55 to one decimal place, you have 2.6. Remember figure 2. Estimate the minimum value of y. That is the least point, the point where the curve start turning up. That point is here. If you trace to y axis, you have minus 9 as the minimum value of y. Roman figure 3, you are to find the gradient of the curve at s equal to 2. So this is the gradient. You locate s equal to 2, that is this point, and you draw a tangent, a line that will touch that point at one point. You can draw the line to any length of your shirt, but it should not be too long. So this is the tangent. Then you form a triangle with it. So this point, you trace this point to y axis. That is y two. 
you trace this point the same way you have y1 you trace this point to s axis you have s1 and this point will give you s2 so from here y2 is 10 y1 is minus 10 then s1 is 1.2 that is the second line after 1 and S2 is 4.2 second line after 4 so all the points you put them in the gradient formula in this form so minus minus is plus you have 10 plus 10 over 4.2 minus 1.2 that is 20 over 3 if you divide you have this to the nearest whole number you have 7 as the gradient one beauty of this gradient is that if you draw your line beyond where I stopped here you will have the same value provided you read your values correctly Peter calls simplified maths. If you are viewing and watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, like and share PSM videos. If you are viewing and watching from Facebook, follow and like the page. Also share PSM videos.